another video. Um, this was an interesting thing I plan on doing. I wanted to get a five and a quarter inch floppy uh, drive to work on like a modern Windows PC. So I, uh, after a little bit of trials and errors, I managed to get this. So, um, yeah, I have a three and a quarter inch, and it, I haven't installed any special drivers or anything. This is just a fresh install of Windows 10, as you can kind of tell. Um, picks it up normally. Um, so the system is right here. I'm gonna get a case for this. Sorry if it looks a little bit cluttered. Um, the board is on the S series. It's a model number from Gigabyte. It was a Core 2 Duo. Uh, 64 bit, and then I got this like nice cooler on it. Um, so this graphics card is a GT 7800. 7, this is a Dell. It's um, hold on. It's from this uh, old older Dell computer, but it works just fine. Um, I have this Max for I guess like uh, yeah, it's a 65, 60, like 80 gigabyte hard drive. It's just a SATA one. It's an older one though. And this one is a Caviar 3400, 4,000 megabyte hard drive, sorry. I have 4 gigs of RAM in here, uh, on the board, and this is a USB 3.5 inch drive, but this is the 5 and a quarter inch drive here. The other drive I had didn't work, the stepper motor head was bad, so I got another one. Um, I picked this one up for $23 on the Reuseum, it's a website, uh, ordered it, came in today, works good. I have this adapter on the back of it that lets you plug the edge ISA connector thing into uh, the floppy head around the motherboard. And uh, it all works good, so let me uh, that up. It takes five and a quarter inch floppies, just a regular one. Uh, it's actually a Sony one. Double density, uh, or sorry, double sided high density double track. Um, this is a 1.2 megabyte drive, by the way. It's running in full Windows 10, although I believe it's 32-bit. I actually like this drive when you put it in the disk and when you eject it. Like, you, there's nothing here to, for you to grab right here. So when you eject it, which was kind of cool, it actually pushes it up for you. You can kind of see the mechanism for that right there when it goes in. Let me put that in. I'm going to zoom over to my computer. I still need to use a keyboard, though. Focus. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go to the floppy. Can uh see it doing work. Focus back up. And you can see I got nothing on it. So, because I'm I make YouTube videos, um, sorry for the shaky camera. Um, I wanted to put a video on the five and a quarter inch disc. So I made this video, uh, the my movie thing I'm dragging. It's uh, a video. It's a, I think it's like less than a minute long, but it's like really low resolution. Um, so it fits on here. Gonna run that. I have it up like this because that on the bottom. I'm trying to get a case for this system too. I can't use that one because that's a BTX case, not ATX, but it works. So, here we are. Zoom back in for that. Sorry for the lower resolution. I'm trying to zoom in. I got the keyboard and stuff is like, and mouse is like tied over here. You can open it up here, kind of working. Okay, now I can go over here. There you go, better resolution. But this is fully working on Windows 10. And it's amazing, I didn't have to install any other drivers. I mean, this Windows 10 still has native support for five and a quarter inch floppies. There is sound, but there's no speaker, so it's up to the computer. The video is 64p by 64p, running at 15 FPS, and the lowest quality of sound. I mean, you know, it's not very good. Um, this is of a, that one video I posted a little while ago, it's just a, of a person playing with cookies. For some reason, um, it was a funny thing my friends had made. So, uh, you can hear the drive clicking away. But yeah, I always would change the setting in the BIOS. It would, people hear that and they get spooked. It was just changing it from a three and a half inch to a five and a quarter inch drive, which is literally with one, two, three, four, yeah, four. Four clicks of uh, the keyboard. You can see the video's done. Go back over here now. I'm going to uh, rewind it, you'll see it come back up, and see the stepping motor right there, 
doing this thing. You can barely tell that it moves, even though it is. I to see that. Um, but yeah, it's a fully working five and a quarter inch floppy disk drive, running on Windows 10. And I, uh, yeah. Uh, I've been doing this for a while, and I wanted to do it, so uh, I figured I might as well. Um, I got a whole bunch of these. Kind of see all these. I got a whole bunch of diskettes and a few of the games on them, so I'm like, what the heck, right? You know. And plus, it's a fun project to do. Finally, uh, got to play this game too, which is fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to share this, uh, because I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.